morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I feel so refreshed this morning, well this afternoon. I woke up at 7am with Jas after going to bed at like 1.30 in the morning but I had to edit my video. Vlogmas only works for me if I edit the majority of the video the night before otherwise I spend the rest of the day talking to you about the video which is like super boring so I did that woke up with Jas had breakfast his colleague joined us if you guys follow me on Instagram one time we were in Manchester and one of his colleagues like just sat at our table and blanked me the entire time and he was like really annoying and it was just really weird he was like I think he was like socially awkward and he hated eating by himself but he didn't ask if it was okay he just sort of pulled out a chair just sat there and I'm not a morning person and I was just really really annoyed and he just just like he was just talking to Jas and just it's like I just wasn't there but this colleague I've met him before he just seems really sweet he's quite quiet he was quite nice I had a whole long chat with him at breakfast this morning because Jas had to disappear for a bit that was quite nice I had breakfast oh my god it was mortifying so I have only stayed in this hotel once before we're staying at the Hilton Deansgate Hotel in Manchester I only stayed here once before and that I swear that was in October it wasn't even November. It was a long time ago. We walked up to breakfast. Jas went first. He was like, oh, table for two. She's like, what's your room number? She looked up and she was like, oh, I know you. And then she looked at me, she's like, oh, hi, madam. And I hate being called madam. And she was like, oh my God, I remember you. You have soya milk, right? And you was on porridge with soya. And I was like, oh my God. How, like, how many people stay here and I've only stayed here, what, how does she remember me? And it was a little bit embarrassing to be honest. And she was like, should I bring you like porridge with soy milk? And I was like, no, not today. I just fancied croissant with brie and cucumber, lots of cucumber. It was lovely, but it was just really embarrassing. Anyway, I'm gonna go up to see what there is in the lounge for lunch. We have lounge access with this room, which means a free lunch. Jas was supposed to join me, but he's really busy at work. So I'm just gonna go up and see what there is today because I'm starving. Look at the sky, there's obviously no filter on this, like this isn't Instagram. We are on the 18th floor. Last time we stayed on the 21st or the 22nd floor, so it was a little bit nicer. Maybe actually, but we were on the other side, so it's a different view. But yeah, this is Manchester. Sorry, my hands are shaking, this always happens to me when I'm starving and I can't help it. <laughs> and those are the trams. So I'm now heading up to the 23rd floor and they've got like a cloud sky bar there i think the drinks are quite expensive the executive lounge is right next door to it so you kind of get the same views and look at this it's very pretty i do actually want to try that though <laughs> joined me for lunch. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's come to claim his free lunch. Yeah. I had half my lunch earlier because I was starving and now I really want a coffee but I've got a bad headache. We're thinking of going to the Christmas market today instead of tomorrow because it's actually like really nice and sunny even though it's freezing outside. Tomorrow I have to check the weather. It's raining for the rest of the week so hopefully if Jess isn't working late tonight we're going to go to the Christmas market. Yeah. Let's sit here and do some work and enjoy the view. I've 
just spent about four hours sat in the lounge working, had lunch with Jess, had a, like a bit to eat myself. And I got back to the room and the maid has cleaned the room so I thought I'd give you a really quick little room tour. Obviously it's messy because we spent the night here yesterday, but here goes. <laughs> so I think this is an executive room as you walk in. Like it's quite a big hallway, here's the door. That's the bathroom, I'll show you in a minute. There's this big like double wardrobe that has slippers. I think it has a robe. Yep, it has robes. That's Jess's shirts that he's ironed. Slippers, ironing board, iron, and all that jazz. What is this? Oh right, that's Jess's jumper. I thought it was like a blanket. We've got our suitcase on one of those stand things that was inside this wardrobe. And then you walk in here, there's another wardrobe with a mirror. And there's a safe in there. I've just left my handbag and car keys there. A couple of bottles of water that are like complimentary in this room. This is like the desk slash dressing table. It's huge. Um, and this bit actually comes down, but like the glass top's broken. So I don't know, I was just working here earlier. That's my big to-do list that I had today. And I'll just do my makeup there with the mirror, which is quite handy. But like I said, this bit does pull down. It's just that the top of ours is a bit grubby and I think someone broke the glass so it's like kind of uneven to work on because it's not like flush with this. I was just working there. So from here, this is like the window with the great view. This is the 18th floor that we're on. It's kind of similar to the view that we saw in the lounge earlier but the other side of the building I think. And I do have vlog photos of the other room that we stayed in last time. I just haven't written the post yet so whatever. There's a chair here which is full of my coat, jumper and pyjamas. Little table, let me sit which I keep forgetting to take. I need to take some today because I feel a little bit like I'm gonna get ill and I just can't at this time of year. Here's the bed. Like I said earlier, super comfortable. Pillows are not that great, but whatever. The mattress is lovely and it's like a king size bed. There we go. And through here is the bathroom. So here's the shower. Really great like water pressure, you know, whatever. Toilet, all of our toiletries that I unpacked. Obviously sink area. There's a great big bath here. If only I'd bought some like bath oils or something with me. It'd be nice to have a hot bath. And yeah, that is it. There's like a phone here, I don't know. So yeah, now it is 10 past four. Jess finishes work in about an hour and a half, maybe a bit later today, we don't know. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I'm so tempted to have another nap. That like one hour that I had after breakfast earlier just wasn't enough, but I really wanted to like not sleep all morning. Just to finish editing the video and make sure it uploads for today's like vlogmas video which you guys will have seen yesterday luckily the wi-fi was good enough and it was uploaded in like an hour so that was great but uh, i'm gonna crack on with a bit more work we're at the christmas markets this is alpha square right yep Look at square. This. okay you can't see i'll flip it around the shape blue we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas we wish Tried 
watching some rum samples and oh my god this salted caramel gin that they do is absolutely incredible we're definitely buying one bottle for ourselves but you kind of get a bit of a deal if you buy two so we're definitely going to come back it's like this stall here um it's called riverside or something like that i can't remember we're definitely going to buy some gin that salted caramel was, was insane. Nice. The passion fruit was a little bit tart, but it yeah. would be nice in Prosecco. But I had it the wrong way around. And the fig rum was really nice as well. Coffee rum. He'll let you try everything, but I really want to buy some bottles. It's a shame we're done with Christmas presents because they'd make really good presents. So nice. <laughs> This is exactly what I need, a hot toddy for whiskey. Yeah. I bought a toddy and it's so good to do the £3 deposit for the mug in it. So you pay £3 for the mug, save on plastic and then you drop it back and get £3 back. Like to any bar in the market. Yeah. Pretty good isn't it? We're sharing this because I probably won't like it because it has whiskey in it. It's the brandy. I've got a money saving idea. Let's see if we can, if we can get the mugs any, let's see if we can find them uh, mugs anywhere else. Pound. <laughs> These lamps are made from old bricks washed up on beaches. That's so cool. Just tried a few more flavours of these. These are so nice. We've tried loads of other alcohol along the market and it's just not the same. These are all vodkas. These are all rums. I don't drink rum, but the fig one is incredible. They have one whiskey one here. And these are the gins. You know, as a business you can absorb some costs, you can't. Banana restaurant called Tycoon. Tycoon? But this is how it's spelled. Just recommended it because apparently he's had a lot of delivery takeaways here from here in the past six months. So he's been working in Manchester. Has it been six months that you've been working here? Yes. Last time he recommended a place for us, it was gross. So I was a little bit skeptical, but I spotted a vegan menu. So I'm very excited and it looks great. Normally I just ask my sister for recommendations. I'm sure you guys know by now that my sister lives in Manchester and we basically just like the same food. But this place looks really, really nice and I'm absolutely frozen. From tomorrow onwards, I'm gonna have to wear two pairs of leggings. It's like a reminder to myself when I'm editing like tomorrow morning or tonight or whatever. <laughs> Look. Papaya salad originates from North East Thailand. Chicken satay from Bangkok. Barbecue pork, Bangkok. Massaban curry, my ultimate favourite thing. Southern Thailand. And Pad Thai comes from Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya? I don't know how to pronounce that. You know, you just see a menu and you like want every single damn thing on it. This is one of those days. Good shout, Jess. I can tell the food's gonna be good. Good. And let's not set really high expectations. Oh my god, I knew this would look good and it looks amazing. This is a vegan platter for two. That's deep fried papaya, sweet corn fritters, vegetable dumplings, spring rolls. Just the satay chicken looks so good. And our oh, papaya salad. So excited for this. Yes. Room. I cannot believe how cold it is outside like it is absolutely freezing it's two degrees I think my legs are frozen like I'm only wearing leggings I should have worn two pairs I'm gonna do that from tomorrow onwards when I go out but oh my god I'm also wearing my thermal my ears felt like they'll drop off like my ears and my nose but we're back in the hotel room. Dinner was so nice. Like food in Manchester is just insanely good. Like never go to a chain restaurant ever, ever, ever in Manchester. It's like a sin. But this Thai food was just so good. We actually ordered a main dish as well, but we asked to cancel it if it hadn't already been made. And luckily it hadn't because the portions were super big and we just like we were stuffed. 
we just about finished like all the starters <laughs> to be fair we did get a platter for two to share Jess got a starter and I got a papaya salad so it was quite a lot of food I don't really know what we we're thinking but yeah now it's almost 10 o'clock I think I'm going to see if there's a kettle in the room and try and make myself a lemsit because if I wasn't already ill I definitely am after tonight and I just I, just, I can just feel it in my bones you know I'm going to take my makeup off have a lem sip. I can't bother to do a face mask and just have an early night. I just feel shattered. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for day 18. Thanks for watching. Bye.